What's up guys, so it's been a week since we've had the S23 FE and I wanted to go ahead and go over you know, some of the things that I've noticed and just sort of answer the question, who should buy this phone? Should you buy this phone? And it's been a tough question, you know, people asking me, you know, you know, should I upgrade from the S20 FE or the S21 FE? Uh, this has probably been the toughest, um, you know, phone to test out and sort of, you know, I had to put a lot of extra thought into this one. Um, but Samsung has it for 629, so it's, you know, essentially 630 here. And Amazon has it on here for 600, and then you get a $100 gift card, which is, you know, a better deal. I got the Best Buy one, but I would recommend getting the Amazon one because, you know, just having that money on Amazon is more useful. Um, but yeah, so here's the issue with this phone. So if you're in the market and you have $600, right? You would typically just get a, you know, a used S23. They have them on here for, you know, literally five hundred and fifteen dollars from Amazon, refurbished, uh, renewed. You guys know I buy, I would say like eighty percent of my phones from, uh, you know, refurbished, renewed, whether it's Amazon or eBay. And yeah, you can see. So d doesn't matter the color. You can find these for like five hundred bucks. So the question is. Does the S23 FE have anything over the flagship, you know, standard S23? And the answer is no. Nothing about this phone is better than the S23 besides this phone having a bigger display. And I would say that's the one thing about this phone um, that, you know, you might like. But I, I would say, like, does that really justify? Because you can honestly get... It's a bigger version. Like, if you're going to spend that type of money, you want a bigger phone, just go with the S22 Plus, right? So, this is just like a really awkward phone that I, re I actually really like. Um, but it's just like, I can't recommend it to people because it, the price compared to what Samsung offers makes no sense. Now, I know some people, they don't like to buy, um, you know, use refurbished phones, which again, I, I'm highly against that. I think you really should. It's a good way to save money. And a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want it because of battery life. You got to remember this phone is, you know, pretty much, you know, brand new, right? Um, a lot of these people, they turn in the phones and, you know, they fix them and, you know, there's nothing really wrong with these phones. And it's not like this is a years, years old phone. So there's no battery degrade, right? Um, yeah. So I just think it's, um, I just think it's a weird thing. So this phone does have a slightly bigger display than the S23. Uh, it has a 6.4 inch display uh, versus that phone's uh, 6.1 inch display. Um, yeah, so that's like the only thing about it. And also one of the cons with this phone compared to the S23 is that it has much chunkier bezels, which surprisingly, if you guys saw the S21 FE comparison, um, the S21 FE actually has slimmer bezels. Uh, which was pretty interesting so i have no clue what samsung's strategy is with that or like i don't i don't i don't understand what they're doing with that right all right so here is another area where i think this phone is really good but also again in comparison to the s23 it's running the snapdragon 8 gen 1 and with the s23 uh, you get the snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor which is a little bit faster a little bit more efficient as well um, and again, just using the phone, like I said, there's no actual issue with performance here. I don't have any overheating problems. I get pretty good settings on Call of Duty here. You can see ultra frame rates, all that good stuff. Um, there's no issue with that. But then again, if you're going to keep the phone for years, honestly, I would just go with the more powerful chipset so you know that you're getting a very powerful phone. You can keep it for you know as long as you want. You know you're not going to have any type of uh, trouble. And all. Uh, Pretty much it just makes sense. Why would you get a last gen's processor if you can get the, you know, if you can get the A gen too, right? Um, but yeah, gaming performance on here has been pretty good. Just playing PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, uh, anything, you know, you can pretty much do anything on this phone, no problem. I don't have any issue uh, with performance on here. But like I said, it's, it's a really tough sell because if we go on eBay, right? And if this is somebody with a $600 budget, um, you know, you're just straight up buying a phone. You could go get an S22 Plus, right? You get an S22 Plus in really good condition. It'll be $400. So you actually save a bit of money 
um, like I said, and you can you'll still get the same processor. It'll just be a bigger screen. Uh, you still get the same good battery life. Um, so it's it's kind of an interesting uh, phone. If you guys want to see the Geekbench scores here, the Geekbench scores, and you can see how it compares to the A Gen 2 processor uh, as well as the multi-core score uh, on here as well. And again, not like a huge thing, but you know it's. You know, it just makes more sense if you're going to spend money to just get the newer processor. Also, one thing I noticed on this phone, um, you know, it does have the optical fingerprint scanner, which it, it does work fine. But the difference is, and a lot of people might not even notice this, but the difference is with the optical ones is that you can't really tap them like fast. You have to apply just a little bit of pressure. And again, most people won't notice this. But when you have the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, you can like literally lightly tap it and it'll go straight in. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I noticed that, you know, one of the cutbacks on here. Alright, so I do want to touch on the cameras. So the cameras on here are pretty good. Um, they pretty much feel on par with the S23 and just, you know, pretty much any flagship phone that Samsung has right now. It's got a 15 megapixel standard, 8 megapixel telephoto, has 3 times optical zoom up to 30 times max zoom and then you also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide it shoots an AK24 and then you also have a 10 megapixel selfie cam on here as well too and it does a fantastic job at taking photos and just looking at it and comparing it to uh, other phones like the S23 Ultra you know the standard S23 uh, even the S21 FE it did take slightly better photos uh, than that phone especially when it came to the zoom like the three times zoom I did notice um, in a couple of shots there but not a dramatic difference surprisingly but uh, it does take slightly better photos I don't know if it's enough to upgrade from those older phones but I thought it took some pretty decent uh, shots for sure so it uh, seems like the cameras on here are pretty great uh, for the most part so I didn't have any issue uh, with that uh, you can even shoot in 4k 60 on the front camera as well too uh, which is pretty nice and the video looks great too so all right so one thing that has definitely stood out with this phone was battery life the battery life on here has been really really good not only that but stand up standby uh, time has been uh, really great on this phone as well too it has a 4500 milliamp hour battery uh surprisingly i'm you know kind of surprised they didn't put a 5000 milliamp hour battery in here um, it would have had excellent battery life, but um, the battery life is still really, really good on here. It's got 25 watt charging and it's got wireless charging. It pretty much has all the Samsung stuff, Samsung desktop support. So it's like, it's a, it's, it's just a really weird phone um, to consider. So, you know, would I buy this phone personally? No, I would just buy a refurbished S23 or I, or I would just get an S22 Plus or something like that if I wanted like a bigger phone because you're still going to get, you know, a fast processor uh, with the S22 Plus as well too if you want to, you know, do that option. Um, yeah, it just, this phone just doesn't make any sense. Um, what do you guys think though? Do you guys think that, you know, I'm completely off on this one? Uh, be sure to let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.